we were in the house for a change uh, instead of out walking. Um, and we're at the, uh, it's the King's Coronation today. And it's the, uh, also apparently it's the great cr um, clotted cream crisis of 2023. So we bought some uh, scones. Here they are, look at these folks. Right? We bought some scones because there's loads of scones in the shops and we fancied some clotted cream and jam with them like everybody else. Um, but apparently everybody in Britain's having themselves a um, cream tea because it's the coronation and there's no clotted cream anywhere. So I've been to seven or eight shops in Newark, can't get any. And so now I've seen a recipe that says, how hard can it be to make clotted cream? Well, we're about to find out. Right, well, my wife's just told me this is uh, the first part of the debate is, are these four Sultana scones or are they four Sultana scones? Now, I think they're scones because you wouldn't have an E in it if it was a scone. If it was a scone, there'd be no E in it, would there? So they're definitely scones. So I got this, I had a quick look when I was in Asda, saw this recipe here, homemade clotted cream, right? And it says in here, homemade clotted cream is quick and easy to make, deliciously decadent and served with warm scones and homemade jam. And apparently you don't need an oven, you can make it in an hour. And all that's required is some double cream, a bit of butter, a dish to put it into to cool down, a uh, big sauce, a uh, heavy base saucepan. These are uh, Rayburn saucepans that go on these stoves. So they're heavy base and a wooden spoon. So uh, the quantities are, it says here at the bottom, I think it's got it down to uh, 750 millilitres of uh, cream or something like that. I've got what I've got there. So it says 750 millilitres of double cream. 30 grams of unsalted butter. So I've got uh, 300 millilitres there. I think 300 millilitres of Asda's finest fresh double cream. So what I'm going to do is chop myself 15 grams of that unsalted butter off. Okay, there we go. I've actually put in 17, but I'm not going to take two grams of it out. 17 grams of butter. Look at that. That's all it is. Tiny lot, there's my finger for comparison. It's a tiny little bit of butter, but there you go. Right, let me tip the uh, cream in and I'll get it on the hob. 300 gram, 300 millilitres of Asda's finest cream going in. There we go. Let me just turn this on. I'll get that on to five, I guess. Let's just check what it says now. So that's uh, put the cream and butter in a wide saucepan, place over a low to medium heat, stirring constantly with a spoon until it reaches a simmer. Don't let it boil and let it reduce by about half for 20 minutes. Once it's reduced, put it into this big shallow dish there and let it cool before chilling in the fridge. Right, 20 minutes of the finest stirring. Okay, right, well, let's transfer it into here then. So there we go. It's a little bit. It's a little bit like the consistency of custard. I was just rereading this recipe, and the lady in it says like, "Oh, I made this when I first moved to my f uh, home in France for my neighbours and everything." And then she said, "Oh, we absolutely love it with um, a dollar per clot homemade clotted cream when I make a homemade nectarine frangipani tart." And I'm already thinking, hang on a minute, I might be out of my depth a bit here. <laughs> so that's it. Just give that a little smooth round. Looks like wallpaper paste, Chevel. What does it look like? Oh, it looks almost like batter, doesn't it? Batter mix or something. Right, I'm going to put this in the fridge and uh, give it an hour. We'll see what happens. I'll put it in there next to them beers that I'm storing for a friend. 
Right, so now it's actually set. It's about an hour later, and it's actually set. Look, quite solid. And it's got that characteristic yellowing over it as well. So what I'm going to do, is because it's been in there an hour or so now, and it does say it improves overnight and it improves them longer you leave it and all that. It actually tastes, mm, it actually looks and tastes like clotted cream to be quite honest with you. Right, well it's the next morning and uh, it's, uh, let's have a look. So that's really good. Oh wow, look at that. That is proper like clotted cream that is, look. It's good and thick. That's fine. Right, let's get it on one of these scones. Not scones, one of these scones with a bit of jam. We've only got poor quality jam, but there you go. Right, let's get it on. We'll see what it looks like and then we'll give a verdict. Right, there it is, pre jam. Looks brilliant. I love it. And uh, Ches just said it's better than Rhoda's cream, cotton cream. So that's good. Oh, and there's one with jam. Right, well, there's the final thing then. That's the clotty cream in its pot. And that's it on the scones with the jam. And I think, given the effort of that, it was all right. It wasn't doing anything for 20 minutes while I stirred it. And to be quite honest, it was worth the time and effort because a thing of clotty cream, I think, was like 2 53 quid. And a thing of cream was £1.10 or something like that. So the butter doesn't count for anything. It was such a small amount. Brilliant. Success. Coronation clotted cream crisis solved.